Lord of Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The sign of connection in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is here this evening. Yes. There is a visitation of the Holy Ghost in the Spirit. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. I sense that people are ready in this place. Yes. Are you ready in this place? Yes. Are you ready in this place? Yes. Can we all pray, please? Let's pray, all of us. Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful day. We give unto you honor and glory. My heavenly Father, thank you for our giving us this opportunity to help our your sons and daughters visiting us in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome to this place. In the place. In your hands, in the name of Jesus, we hand it over to you in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we thank you for everyone who has come to this place. Tonight, we worship you. Tonight, we give you glory. There is fire in the split. Good, good, good. 
daughter is just like that. To free away to tear to Yahusalela. Therefore, praises, you deserve this praises. Come on again. Just be kicking off with the purpose of what, why we are here. Hallelujah. Amen. The FBC Fire Bible Center in this place. Amen. Amen. You know, God is God of surprises all the time. You will see what he has never thought. He's a God who do more exceedingly than we imagine. Yes. Amen. Amen. He will surprise you. Our Father has surprised us. Our Father God has surprised us. He will bring something that is not in your plan. He will bring something that is not in your schedule. He will bring something that is not in your expectation. This is an unexpected service. Wait for the unexpected thing. Are you ready for the unexpected? Unexpected opportunities come with unexpected presents. I 
I look like this because of her. If you can see, look at the photo there. Look at the photo there. Some of you will never sit down. You will never sit down tonight. The God we serve, the God we serve, is here tonight. Oh, it has been a long time. Just greet you. Yes. I like to thank God. And I'm happy. I'm genuinely thinking. If you are the guy, this was unexpected things. Mudi mudi are more than you can imagine. Let me get me to work out more. Something different. Firstly, let me honor the local pastor here. Sapeli Nkeki Lepohebo Wanabe Muruti Omohai. Pastor Temple Dwava. Muruti Temple Dwava. We really want to honor God when we see you. Doing such a wonderful job. I feel here is just a furnace of fire, I just feel. It's Jerusalem where we wish fire is kindled, you know. We have come to the place of fire. Hallelujah, no wonder. I have come to set the oil on fire. And I wish it were already kindled. So it's all it's all happening here. Hallelujah. So he is our local pastor here. In charge of this uh, branch, it's a very, very fresh branch. is growing and God is good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you shake the hands, please? Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Come on, let's give Jesus a big hand now. Sit down there, please. You are, walking, you are walking a distance when I need you. You are walking a distance now. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, God is using young men today, and these are sons who are manifesting in this world. Now, um, while here, this guy is not alone, you know. In this church, there are two people who are just identical. So, he's got a brother there. Can you both come? Want to show them a miracle? You both come. These are the miracles of God. Yeah. So, Tempo, Tempo, Tempo. Tradition and trustee. Le Dwava is the same name. <laughs> Paul and Timothy. Amen. Paul and Timothy. This is Paul and Timothy. Hallelujah. I think the quickest way method is to say Paul and we just running short of Silas anyway. <laughs> so God bless you, uh, uh, my God bless you. Uh, 
Having introduced the local pastor, I must greet uh, the mothers who are here. What I greet you in Jesus' name. The young people who are here. Yes. 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 The wife of Bishop Mashabela. Amen. In our midst, they will just stand up with the son there. Mama Shabela. Bishop. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. So, oh, we have my, this extreme. Yeah. This one is the son of my sister. She's a pastor at the main center there, Arabizi. You will see our main center next time. Thomas, I hope that's uh, the, the, the young pastor also. I have got him. Uh, uh, at, uh, at least in my family there is another one. Amen. Yeah, she uh, is uh, the son of my, uh, the, the, my sister. God bless you. Give more words. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, you, hey, yeah, we feel like it could be longer, but it won't, you know. Yeah. Because some have to catch a bus at uh, four o'clock. <laughs> Amen. So I will just uh, now say this that uh, Bishop Mashabel and I, you know, work together, live together all the time. Nali Bishop Mashabel, more, more. Work together, we do things together. Every time. Amen. Amen. Bishop Mashagal, I think you must be knowing him because that day when he was, you know, uh, putting that gown, you know, that day. Yeah, but was, was putting it on his so, yeah, so I was putting it on me. So, we were together, we were all, the, when he we sees something, uh, he calls me, when I see something, I call him. I'm going to go to the funeral and I'm going to go to the funeral. Amen. So, um, that's why today we have got uh, our guests. Bishop Mashabela has connected them with me. Bishop Mashabela Oba Amen. Amen. That is that is why today they're here. We have enjoyed we have been enjoying their ministry since Friday, since Friday, I think. Since Friday. At Madiba Park. And we have seen we have seen we like them, we love them. We, because somewhere we are similar and I like it, you know. They are moving in the fire chariot. Yes. Oh, that fire chariot, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, without waste of time, um, I just want to introduce them. Glory to God. And then uh, thereafter, then we will have uh, one song uh, of worship. And then uh, I'll give them the, the pulpit. My interpreter here is a pastor, I hope you know him, Pastor Ramar. From there, the church is there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Now, so that you can see them clearly, we'll have one song. Let's have one song. And then I'm going to ask them just to come and smile here. But not that happy. Then I, I'll tell you who they are. Amen. Give you all night. And glory. Are you? 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 Are
Is he the one who was singing there? No. Oh, you are just the same. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Leonard Onyekachi from Nigeria. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It means tonight we have for people from all continents of the world. I don't think we have good brother London. Oh, hey, sorry. Because I thought you are this are only London is in front as another one. London is the other side of the show of Mashallah. Good. How many? And then in absentia, I uh, will uh, introduce Bishop Smith. Bishop Smith is with them. He's uh, in Bangui now. Can we give Jesus a big hand? Amen. Now we we will worship tonight and we will go and worship. Our speaker tonight. Is <laughs> <laughs> He has written two names here, but it's one person. I think so. Yes, isn't it? Amen. Yeah. Now tonight, oh my God, to, you see, apostles are here to, to, to tell your neighbor, apostles are here. Evangelists are here. The pastors are here. In our midst, we have been seasoned by the presence of a servant of the living God tonight. Who is going to share the word? And that is uh, Mama Apostle Lisa. Come near me, please. I won't tell you what you're going to do, but come near me. Mabi Shoko Patamela. Amen. So that is Pastor Lisa Hall, isn't it? Yeah. What is oh the hall has gone there? Yeah. Pastor Hall has gone there. Oh, okay, I see, I see her. Okay. Yeah, tell her we miss her. Good. So we've got Apostle Lisa tonight. And he's going to minister the fire tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Did I skip someone here? You people are lovely, man. We, 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 we love you. God bless you all. Amen. 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 Now, join these girls with our soul. They are wrong. You know it.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We yeah. worship you tonight, we worship you tonight, we worship you tonight. Hallelujah, Lord, we give you glory, we give you all the Lord. You are the Alpha and the Omega, you are the beginning and the end of all. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Listen, and I believe that the Lord has set you up for a miracle. Amen. And it was just because you obeyed the clarion call to show up tonight. Amen. Amen. Turn to Acts. The ninth chapter. And the third verse. Amen. We bless God for Bishop. Amen. Amen. And his beautiful wife. Amen. We thank God for Pastor Masha Bella. Amen. 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 And the pastor that resides in this place. God bless you too. Amen. Amen. Acts, the ninth chapter. Beginning at the third verse. When you get it, say amen. amen. If you don't have it, say, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Acts, the ninth chapter, the third verse. And it's reading... As he had journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly a light shone around him from heaven. Then he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? 
Then the Lord said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. It is hard for you to kick against the prick. So he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what do you want me to do? Then the Lord said to him, arise and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. And the men who journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice but seeing no one. Then Saul arose from the ground and when his eyes were open, he saw no one. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither ate nor drink. Let us pray. Father God, we love you. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We bless you. God, we thank you, God, for allowing us one more expression of your love. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you anoint your children's ears to hear, heart to conceive, and heart to receive now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. God, we thank you for miracles. God, we thank you for signs and wonders. God, we thank you, God, in advance, God, for what you're about to do in this place. And God, we bless you and we give you glory now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I have found out uh, that in this timing of our lives, that we cannot afford to miss God. I don't know about you, but whatever the Lord is doing, in this particular season, I don't want him to do it without me. Anybody believe that? Listen, I want to be on the same page as God. Amen. Listen, I want you to look at your neighbor and I want you to tell your neighbor Neighbor, uh, you gotta say it like me. Neighbor, the preacher lady is gonna preach tonight. Obey the voice. Amen. Amen. I want us to understand something. That we as believers must obey God no matter what is going on in our lives. We have to live an obedient life. So no matter the circumstances or the situation. We must obey God. Amen. 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 Scripture says, and we had, when he had put it forth, his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follows him, for they know his voice. And a stranger, they will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the strangers. Amen. So it's so important for us to know the voice of God. Yeah. So we can now follow him. But I found out the reason why we don't follow God because we don't know his voice. Yeah. So in our text tonight, we have Paul, Saul rather. He's on his way to Damascus. Now, the Lord has always found a way to interrupt our plans. Anybody believe that? Listen, this wasn't a scheduled service. So the Lord interrupted your plans. 
so you can be in a place to receive tonight anybody come to receive all right come on stay with me the lord the lord always finds a way again to interrupt our plans now here it is saul is on his way to persecute the christians and verse 3 says a light shone around the battle so this particular light knocked him off the door listen sometimes god has to get our attention in order for us to recognize who he is now what you have to understand Saul knew of God but he had no relationship because Saul began to ask who is this listen so you have to understand that he only knew of him but had no relationship so the bible says the bible says he, that Saul now is on his knees and now he begins to question who God is and the Lord now responds and tells Saul he says I am Jesus the one you persecute now it lets me to believe that everybody that say they know the Lord really don't know the Lord they know of him but have no relationship with him it's important for us to have a relationship with God amen sometimes the Lord will allow us to be in a sticky situation that's going to require us to ask of him where you can't call on nobody you can't tell nobody only God anybody been there before? listen, listen the Bible says that Paul falls on his knees listen and he keeps asking who are you and he says why are you persecuting me now what you have to understand before this incident Paul was in a place or a position of not hearing but he got alone sometimes the Lord will allow you to be all by yourself so you can now hear him without anybody else being in the way listen, listen I found out that isolation brings about elevation come on so, so from this point on you don't mind being by yourself because in my aloneness God is going to elevate me anybody believe that so what you have to understand there is purpose for you being by yourself now in verse 5 here it is his responses to the Lord is now he knew of God again but he had no relationship with him and then he's on his knees and the Bible says that now he's trembling and he's astonished and he says Lord what would I have me to do now I just told you he knew of the Lord 
So he knew it had to be the Lord talking to him. And so he asked him, What do you want me to do? And listen, and the Lord tells him to arise, to get up now, and I need you to go to the next city. Now this is what Now this is what messed me up. The Bible says that when he got up, that when he got up, that even though he opened his eyes, he still couldn't see. And so now, he's got to only obey the voice that he heard. Listen, the Lord told me to share with some of you that he's going to lead you by blind faith. You're not going to be able to see the situation, but you're going to have to trust and believe by faith that this is what God has spoken over your life. Now, the Bible says that when Paul got up, he said he opened his eyes and he seen. you have an encounter with God, God will cause some things to change in your life. And so the Lord said, I want you to get up and go to the next city. Now the next city was Just simply to open your eyes. 
the flood gates of heaven let it rain let it rain oh Lord open the flood gates of heaven let it rain 